Well, hello there, everybody. Good evening to you all. Welcome to Jetlagged Jamie, otherwise known as Travel Blog Jamie. I hope you are all groovy, happy, and well. Um, welcome to our Monday Night Live, where we spend an hour or so together chewing the fat, talking all things cruise, and of course, travel related. We have a little teeny, teeny, weeny bit of cheekiness thrown in for good measure too, because otherwise it just wouldn't be the same, would it? Although most of the cheekiness, I have to be honest, does come from you folks, not me. Little halo going on with me, really. Um, it's been a very, very busy couple of weeks. I don't know about you <clears throat> and how you've been and how your Easter's were. I hope they were fantastic. Um, the countdowns are looking very interesting. 69, says Daniel Taylor. That's an interesting countdown. Mm. Um, <laughs> so my last two weeks have been very busy. You may well be aware. Uh, Matthew and I uh, went on our cruise, a one-week cruise on Pino Aurora to northern Spain and western France. <clears throat> More on that a little bit later. And then I hot-footed it to uh, London Gatwick, stayed at the Yotel Air Hotel, which was a real experience, one I really enjoyed, actually. I hope you enjoy that vlog when it comes out uh, on Saturday. And then um, hot-footed it across the Atlantic to Orlando for five nights, and I arrived home um today through a storm of some description nobody warned me in advance about that terrible weather passing over <laughs> uh that was a bit of a bumpy landing <clears throat> um <laughs> an interesting one i was all right though i was so tired it was like yeah whatever whatever the worst thing though <clears throat> was getting from the airport to basingstoke and i actually um, we landed at about five past ten this morning, and you know, I got home at half five this evening, early evening. Uh, <laughs> so that was interesting. So when we're talking about how we're all doing, our little check-ins, I do want the check-in. Um, for those of you who haven't been here before, the check-in is quite simple, my loves. Basically, if you put a zero in the chat, it means you need an immediate check-in. Uh, and people are fabulous in this community, and they always do check in on one another. Um, anything ranging up to a 10, meaning, I had to write this down, we fly in first class, up in the sky, popping champagne, living my life in the fast lane. I won't change by the glamorous. Ooh, the flussy, flussy. That's a 10, if you feel all of those things. <laughs> Um, sorry, the reason I was thinking of that song is because there's, there's a coaster in um, Orlando and you get to choose a, a song as you're flying around the track and that, that's one of the songs I quite like listening to in the sunshine, you know, with the air bucking your hair all the way around. I love it. We've got a real range of check-ins. Um, <clears throat> oh, we, got, we went for a walk and got hailed on. Well, damn. Is that what I could hear hitting the roof of the um, the aeroplane this morning? <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, Dizzy Lizzie is in sunny Lanzarote. Nice. Um, check in with those people who are who are uh, lower scores, please. I would consider myself today to be about a six, by the way, uh, and not because of the red eye from Orlando back to uh, London overnight. Um, I kind of. I don't know, I'm all right with jet lag. I know some of you often say, oh, you're going to be terrible, you're going to be tired. Whatever, yada, yada, yada. It's just tiredness, you know, I get over it. What was most annoying, let me share two things with you that brought my score down from the, the highs, the dizzying heights of like nines and tens uh, after Orlando. Well, when I did arrive at a baggage claim this morning, uh, my bag didn't appear. <clears throat> And I've never had that happen to me before, actually. So I was getting a little bit agitated, to say the least. So I got passed from pillar to post, pillar to post. Um, some one, one lady who worked there actually said, don't go and speak to him. He'll be no use. He won't help you at all. And she was deadly serious. I'm like, okay, 
my luggage isn't here. I want my luggage. I, I want people to be at the top of the game for this one. Thank you very much. Um, eventually ended up at a desk and was explaining the, the basics that my luggage hadn't arrived. And some lady was stood next to me and she looked at me and said, your luggage didn't arrive. She said, oh, did you know that the baggage handlers have put luggage from our flight on various carousels? I'm like, no, because it's not on the screen and there was no announcement. How would I know that? Lo and behold, my loves, carousel number eight, it was my, my little level eight case, the little yellow one with the poor Matthew tag on going around on its own. I was not very happy about that. It was at least an hour just trying to get that sorted. But it gets worse because then I'm on a train not a jet plane, I'm on a train, and we stop about 10 minutes into the journey uh, because the train in front has struck a tree. I kid you not. Uh, no one injured or anything like that, thank goodness. But um, So we were basically, I was sat on this train for four hours, not moving anywhere. And the, the last two hours of those four hours, not a single announcement. Uh, we were told prior to that announcement, two hours in, that we wouldn't be able to get off the train uh, at all. Doors would not open. We weren't going anywhere. So eventually, um, the issue was resolved. On we move, thinking, thank goodness, we get to Woking, at which point we're told, you can guess, can't you? Um, you're going to have to get off here because the train is going to go back to London and collect all the people from London. And... There was mutiny, and I loved it. <laughs> I love a bit of mutiny, and it was deserved. Like we were, we were stuck for four hours. Why wouldn't you prioritize us? Sorry. So off we got. They all got um, a little bit of a mouthful, and um, I got home at half five. It took me six hours to get from London Gatwick to a mason stoke normally it's one hour and 15 minutes max so on that note <laughs> oh i haven't got a glass never mind cheers to you all just a little swig for me i don't want to don't want too much tonight I've got to go to work tomorrow <laughs> mm. oh i normally that burns when it goes down doesn't it not noticing a thing that's perfect ah so that's why i'm a six there you go not that anyone really cares about that <clears throat> anyway look let's get cracking shall we uh before we go any further please do give this video this live a cheeky little like slash thumbs up for me uh subscribe if you haven't already or, or try and get somebody else to subscribe we are hurtling we are racing towards 26,000 subscribers. We should be there within the next um, couple of weeks, actually. Um, the AirTag, yes, by the way, I've just seen someone say AirTag. Uh, I only have one and it's in the big case and I forgot to transfer it to little case. So that's my bad. Nevertheless, the service was shocking. Um, we can follow each other on Faceache, don't forget. Jamie W. Robbins. Um, some people think it's like a, a business account or a, a cruise or travel account. It's not. It's just my my personal Facebook account. Um, but I post, obviously, about my travels. So I literally today up, uh, uploaded about 15,000 pictures from Orlando and the week before from Piano Aurora. So come on over to the dark side of Facebook. I will greet you with open arms, unless your profile looks really dodgy. In, if it does, then DM me first and give me a, a fair warning. Uh, I'm also over on X, Instagram, and threads at Travel Blog Jamie, and of course, Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie. There are 246 of you now on Patreon, and there are five tiers to choose from. Uh, not to mention, we had a, a, a recent meetup in Smelio, Southampton, and this was delivered to <laughs> my room. Can you believe it? It was actually delivered to my hotel room. It had alcohol in it. But look, how cool is that? Thank you to that person. Um, and we took that booze on. I had to smuggle on an extra litre of booze onto Aurora, but all was well. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to become a patron, please go and check it out. Um, 
there are all sorts of things. We've got behind the scenes vlogs, one's coming out next uh, week, shout outs at the end of my videos, uh, postcards from my travels, patron only lives. We have one to ones as well. Um, choose your poison. I'm also on cameo.com forward slash travel or Jamie, and that's been going really well. I've been doing a cameo, at least a cameo a day at the moment, and some really great ones. Um, I had to um, do a reveal for someone's trip. Uh, recently so they were very excited to find out from me they were going on a cruise literally that week but also a proposal oh, that is so cool I've done two proposals in the last couple of weeks not me actually asking someone to marry me of course but on behalf of somebody else it was all orchestrated very well actually so that anyway I won't go into too much detail but it's been great fun over there so yeah do come on over anyway on to our first item of I know him so well. Hashtag I know him so well. I'm sorry, I don't have my hashtags to hand. Do you understand? I literally got home. I, I unpacked. I did the washing, um, had food, and I came in here. Um, so what we do with this item is I ask you a question quite simply. How well do you know me? And then you type your answers um, in the chat. It's as simple as that. Whoever wins, wins a lifetime of, what is it? Prestige, my loves. Okay. During my week in Orlando this week, what happened to my arm? <laughs> in Orlando this week, I repeat, what happened to my arm? So if you know the answer to that, uh, please do pop your answers uh, below and I will go through the answer with you shortly. Now then, hashtag on someone's telly somewhere. I haven't had time to plan and put together what I was going to do tonight. It was going to be fabulous. So um, it's going to be much more simple and I'm gonna <laughs> you, you can make of this what you want. So what happens here? Essentially what What's been happening over the months of doing these lives is people sometimes take screenshots. They capture capture me on screen like that, for example, and then they start posting it on different socials. Um, and I thought, well, rather than that just happening randomly, I will actually strike a pose or I'll do something odd or interesting or even goodness knows funny. I give you a countdown and then you can take the picture and post it with the hashtag on someone's telly somewhere. Um, so I'm going to count down from three, I've got my props, got the little props. Okay, count down from three, and then you can take your pictures and post them wherever you want, darlings. Ready? Three, two, one, and... That's it, that's your time. Make of that what you will. Um, Egg cuts, you know. Why are you doing that? I don't know why I'm doing that. Last time I had a bottle of something in my hand. Time before I had a, a, a disco ball. Who knows? Um, okay, we don't have any um, trolling travel blog Jamie today or triggered by travel blog Jamie because uh, the trolls have been behaving. They've been very, very quiet indeed. Oh, there was one man who was trying to um, attention seek. He's not getting my attention. Um, but no, all very quiet on that front. So what a bunch of meat sandwiches and wimps out there. I'm ready for you. Bring it on, you trolls. It's like three weeks with nothing. So anyway, let me talk to you a little bit about um, Pino Aurora. Also, I wanted to talk to you about food. Food, 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 food. I'm looking at all your answers. God, blimey. You know me quite well, don't you? I know him so well. Um, so Pino Aurora, let me start with the highs. You might have um, watched the first two parts of the vlog. So mo uh, both Matthew and I, we feel that Pino Aurora as a ship is a lovely ship, uh, a classy, elegant lady. Definitely, no doubt about it. Love the deck space. Uh, you might have uh, guessed I love all the pools, heated beautifully. The after pool, the terrace pool, 28 degrees Celsius it's heated to. Mm, impressive. So um, the kind of ship where I, as a wimp, when it comes to water, dangling my feet over the edge, ah! uh, I just get straight in, kind of get in slowly and go, oh, and then you're all right. You know that that feeling, what that feels like? Oh, and then you go, that those kind of pools, very, very nice indeed. I was very pleased with that. 
Um, we had a great meal in Sindhu, and Aurora has the smallest Sindhu in the fleet. If you don't know what Sindhu is, it's a speciality Asian uh, restaurant. Uh, very nice it is too. Um, it was lovely. We had a great meal uh, and lovely service. It reminded us of when we went there for our Christmas dinner. We had Asian uh, Christmas dinner on Aurora a number of years ago. Just lovely, lovely service, unhurried, fabulous. Now, we also really enjoyed our cabin. Yes, it does need a refresh. I know that. And the bathroom. <laughs> oh, the colour of the bathroom. Plasticorama. Was it pink? Uh, was it peach? Well, I don't know what colour it was. It depended on the light. And some of it was all sparkly and shiny. <laughs> but we the, the cabin was a good space to relax even the, the cut out balconies which i know some people don't like um if it were that or not having the balcony at all for us it was a, a no-brainer and we had the sunshine on there but also it was sheltered enough that when we had some stormy weather and seas as we did yes um you could still sit outside and it was perfectly sheltered so that worked really well for us um the ports of core uh, La Coruña, Gijón, Bilbao, La Rochelle, all very nice indeed and easily access accessed uh, on foot as well. Um, there were free shuttles uh, from the ports, some of the ports very industrial, to take you into the uh, town centre, for example. And that was no problem. Never had any lines, actually, for those shuttles. So either we just went at the right time or it, they were very well managed. Um, here's what we didn't like so much, though. Now, Magnolia Peach says, Anita, thank you. Salmon glittered. So you see, people are all coming up with the different colours already. Now, here's what we didn't like so much. And you may have started to see this in part two, and it might be a recurring theme in part three. But essentially, the food was very mixed on this occasion. Um, we we went to the main dining room for breakfast on our first morning. We loved doing that. Nice, relaxed, chilled sort of environment, getting served your breakfast. Gorgeous, my loves. Um, but it was not good. <laughs> the service was very, very lacking, actually. Paul Matthew, hashtag Paul Matthew, had to wait 40 minutes for a coffee. And I had reminded and asked repeatedly to various members of staff about the coffee, and they all just, yes, yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Never got a coffee. Um, it took ages for anyone to take our order. In fact, they were almost like circling us and taking everyone's order. People who were arriving way after us before they got to us. And you know that's one of my pet hates, don't you? I, I'm all about justice, fairness, and we like that there needs to be an order. And it's understandable that sometimes the order breaks a little bit, but not to the extent it did with us, definitely. And then, of course, you get stone cold cardboard toast and uh, one of the dishes wasn't quite right or what we ordered. And it's like, we can't actually send this back because there's no one here. So it was just painful, actually. But when we left the main dining room for breakfast, oh, my goodness, the line of people waiting to get in and people taking pages. So clearly not working well at breakfast time uh, necessarily. But the buffet... Um, gosh, I'm not a fan of the old smash and grab, but when we were on Azura uh, this year, the uh, buffet was great. The the variety, it was appetizing, it was tasty. So, you know, we thought I would do the buffet. It was the worst buffet we've ever experienced on any ship. They only had part of it open. I know that is often the case, but they just had a very small section open, so the lines were very long. The food looked very unappetizing. Um, there wasn't, I, I didn't feel there was a great uh, variety there. I know someone had said to me recently, oh, they disagreed and they're vegetarian, there were lots of vegetarian dishes. Well, I actually prefer uh, my vegetarian dishes uh, and vegan dishes, and I just didn't see that level of variety. Uh, so we thought maybe it'll get better as the week progresses, but it didn't. It didn't at all. And a buffet breakfast, we went We went to the, uh, the buffet for breakfast, given the main dining room didn't work for us. And oh my goodness, it was painful. It was so painful. They have um, 
certain hot foods served across the the sort of galley area. So you you go over to one area and you line up and you get your food. It's often depleted, so you have to wait for them to replenish. And then you have to go to a different area to get the remainder of your hot food, which meant, because uh, you don't have trays or anything, so you've got your, your knife and fork and your napkin under your arm. Um, you've got your plate here, which is hot. And then you go and join another line. By the time you get your food, what's on your plate goes cold. Um, you can't pick up your coffee or anything because you're like, just didn't work. It was very disappointing, actually. Very disappointing. Um, the it, What worked were, was the speciality dining. And actually, they need to be very careful. Uh, I understand why speciality dining is important. It, it brings in the ka -ching and Matthew and I. Uh, frequent the specialty restaurants we love them um but not at the expense of good food in the buffet and main dining room uh it's the first time we've really experienced that to this extent so we're hoping it's just a blip there were quite a few new members of staff new crew joining at the same time as the crew started i don't know what the issues were why they came about, but yeah, it was disappointing. So what I'd like to hear from you actually, because um, as you know, I like reading through all your comments um, after we finish. I don't get to see them all during this because there are so many usually. Um, what's been your sort of favorite meal restaurant at sea? Doesn't matter what mine is. And what's been your worst? Which ones have not worked for you? That's what I want to hear about. And I can see um, there are some questions about food. I, I normally do questions right um, in the second part, okay? So if you've got questions, hold fire for now or copy and get ready to paste to me um, shortly. Um, so it, Aurora was a mixed bag. Matthew and I love our food. We love eating out. Um, and it was very mixed. So that's disappointing for us. And the entertainment, uh, if I compare it to Arcadia, when I was on Arcadia, in November, it was so lively. The entertainment really surprised me. And on Aurora, it was very low key. And um, mm, in need of an upgrade, definitely. It, it wasn't for us, it really wasn't. So that's a shame. Moving from that on to, oh, and also the weather. The weather generally was good, considering it was the start of April in northern Spain. You know, it's very changeable. And we were definitely deep, deep into the Bay of Biscay. A lot of cruises don't actually go through the Bay of Biscay. They go, they skirt it. They're in the Atlantic. Ours was right into it. Um, so we had mainly rolling and some corkscrewing, as I call it, you know, when the ship just sort of does this um a couple days and one day it really did um lead to a number of passengers having to stay in their cabins and feeling a bit pukey <laughs> that was a quite that was the first celebration even so like me and Matthew were doled up ready and was like where is everybody where are they all uh we were fine so it didn't actually uh impact on us but it, it did some people on one of the days in particular um on to Orlando oh, I stayed at Cabana Bay Beach Resort in Orlando uh, universal uh, universal property and um, it was fabulous the the flight with BA over was seamless no delays uh, I had a row to myself yes um, the hotel it's a budget hotel but um, it has such good facilities and uh, the food is generally good there you know it's got massive pools it's got its own lazy river it's got slides it's also on the doorstep to volcano bay water park so where my room was situated i could just see the volcano and i could walk straight into the water park pretty much from my room which was amazing uh, the staff were fantastic. All oh, the cocktails. Oh, I can't wait to show you the vlogs. Some of the cocktails, some of the best ones, really fantastic. Um, and I enjoyed the parks, of course. I had a hopper ticket. Oh, that's Disney speak. Oh, park to park ticket. Uh, sorry, it is universal. So I could go in and out uh, at the three parks as I pleased, and I did. And um, the weather, it was a bit mixed on the 
second full day where we started off with a lot of cloud and then it got stormy. It didn't storm, but it was looked like it was going to torrential rain for about half an hour. And then it cleared to bright, sunny skies. And then following that day, it was just blue skies. That's all I've had for the last three days. It's just glorious. So it was so it was one of those holidays where it was part relaxing, part kind of sensory overload, <laughs> part adrenaline filled pumping. Yes, action, uh, some nice food, just a bit of everything. I absolutely loved it. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the vlogs from Universal. I have vlogged the hotels, uh, the resorts in Universal before, because I've stayed in, in a number of them, but I've never vlogged the whole experience. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that. I'm not used to vlogging rides and coasters and being on the rides and you can't film on a lot of rides, but there are some you can do. Um, and the, the water rides in particular, oh, one of the, the videos of uh, a particular rapids ride where you do get absolutely drenched is hilarious. Um, I mean, I if there's a waterfall, I'm the one who ends up going under it every time without fail. Every time without fail. Hey ho. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that when it's released. It's coming in the next week or so. Anyway, let's um, talk about, I know him so well. I think nearly everybody got this. Yeah, I had a tattoo when I was in Orlando and um, some people thought it was real. I never said whether it was real or not. Um, oh, don't forget those thumbs up, please, folks. We're forgetting ourselves here. Oh, um, so I had a, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I had an anchor on, on my arm and uh, it's it's fading already. It's a henna one. I just wanted to know what an anchor would look like on my arm. But it set a few people off thinking that I'd done it for real. And they were like, no, no emojis. Um, I liked it. When they first put the, the actual ink on, it was really dark. And I thought, oh, the dark looks great. Or I'd have like a really deep blue colour or like a tugboat blue colour or something like that. Um, so, yes, most of you seem to know, thank you, well done, um, that I had a, a henna tattoo <laughs> for $20, by the way. It's about £17. Apparently it'll last two weeks. So I wonder if any of my students will notice it. We'll see. So well done for getting that right. Very well done indeed. Um Last thing before I take your questions, it's nearly half an hour through and it's down all over to you then. So um, very exciting. I've been invited uh, on a press trip um, on board Queen Anne, Cunard's new ship Queen Anne. And that's actually going to be in just a few weeks time before her inaugural sailing. So I'm really looking forward to experiencing that. It'll be an overnighter. And um I'm going to post loads of pics for you over on uh, the socials. And of course, I'll be vlogging the whole experience as well. I have booked on to Queen Anne uh, on two occasions in the year as well. So I'll get to experience her fully at that point. But at least it will be a, a taster. And, um, you know, I like to work quickly, don't you? So hopefully I'll have those vlogs out for you within a day uh, of actually experiencing Queen Anne so you can see everything that I see as well. The other thing is I've been invited uh, to a press trip uh, on Sun Princess. That's not until a little bit later um, in the summer, actually, um, but that'll be a good one. I've been looking at a lot of the images and footage from Sun Princess. They've done it. They look like they've done a great job. So I look forward to that. And the other one is I've been invited on a week's cruise um, by a cruise line. I'm not going to tell you who just yet. Uh, it's in the summer, and the itinerary is fabulous. One of the ports of court is somewhere I've always, always wanted to uh, go to. So I'm really um, grateful for that cruise line for inviting me. Um, they said they said in their words they enjoy my socials and um, have noticed I haven't booked with them for some time and would I be interested in uh, collaborating with them and the answer would be yes because I think 
uh, they are a good cruise line, definitely. And um, let's see how that unfolds. And it will be interesting, won't it? Uh, they know that I'm pretty honest with my uh, analysis, my summary of everything. So they must be very confident in the product to invite me for a whole week. Um, so that, yeah, a few very exciting things in the uh, works there. Looking forward to it. And I'll share the uh, information uh, with you later. Right. It's over to you now, my loves. It really is. Um, if you have a question, I'm going to start right at the bottom now. Then can you please write the word question? Capitals would be helpful. That would be much appreciated. Then I know I can focus straight in on your question. <laughs> it looks like you're all having some very interesting uh, conversations about plants and fake plants. That, that always draws a little bit of attention, that does. Here we go. Jackie P has written the word questions, so I'm starting with Jackie P. Um, how are you enjoying your new work life? Well, it's very busy, Jackie, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it's very difficult keeping up with the school work life and the vlogging work life. And I've said many times before, and, and you're bored of hearing it, I'm absolutely certain of it. Um, yeah, the, those plants, by the way, are not real, so they don't need watering, thank you very much. Um, my work life tends to take me through to midnight most days. Uh, I get back from school and I'm editing and um, voiceovering and um, sharing, etc. So um, the, those these are long hours. We're talking about being at work, uh, leaving for work about half seven and then finishing everything around midnight. So I'm enjoying the challenges. Uh, I'm enjoying more travel, of course. I'm enjoying getting to meet more and more of you, which is fantastic. Uh, but it's very tiring at the moment. Um, so I am looking forward to not being a teacher as from this summer so I can... Um, fully embrace this side of life. Okay, next question. Um, okay, Vicky has said not a question, but I hope you and Matthew and Furby's babies do. We are, thank you very much. Um, Mark, question is, oh, sorry, Daniel. Ah, DSA 1998 is not ambassador, is it? No, it's not ambassador. I don't think they would have even watched my <laughs> vlogs, to be honest with you. Uh, Dan says, hope you're still coming to see us. In oh, yes, uh, it was actually the second, uh, my second choice. No offense to you, but I was going to go to Blackpool or Orlando. And <laughs> I went to Orlando, I'm sorry, but I am definitely going to go to Blackpool um, still. And I'm definitely going to uh, catch you both. Of course I am. And then there's a wedding to attend, of course. I'm waiting for my invite. Uh, Mark, question, is Corolla as good as Sindhu? Uh, gracias. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. hope that helps. Um, it's different. It's very different. I think coral art is a little bit more traditional kind of curry-based flavours. Um, I think you have to go to both. And I think it's a bit like uh, in, in England, you know, you, you've got Indian food, but you've got Southern Indian food. And it's nice to try a bit of both at times. So I, would, I wouldn't say it's as good as, better as, or anything like that. I think they're on a par. Uh, and Corolla, in my opinion, on Morella has improved as well over the years, definitely. Uh, Pauline, question. Do you have to book the site disc on RV? Or you just rock up. You rock up, my love. Uh, I would definitely get there maybe five, ten minutes in advance because uh, it's very popular. A line will form. And you just line up. You go to the desk. You pick up your headset. And off you go. Uh, so, yeah, no booking necessary paul green hashtag gifted it will be hashtag add actually paul green add and then uh hosted sarah question how have you been able to get time off school to oh i have vlogged about this already but i will very quickly uh i thought teachers could only be off when the schools were closed okay so here's the thing um i handed in my resignation uh in its entirety now, the counter suggestion was uh, because there aren't enough teachers out there, uh, especially languages teachers in, in our school, we don't have enough languages teachers. The suggestion was, okay, rather than you go completely, how about 
um, you're contracted to work um, two or three weeks at a time and then you have your unpaid leave for a week and then that's how it works. So that's what the offer was and that's what I accepted. There you go. Um, question, Sindhu or Morella Coral? Oh, another one. Yeah, we've done that one. Tina, question, will you be meeting up with Paul and Carol for the press trip? Uh, I don't know. Are they going on it? I don't know. <laughs> I, do, I don't know if they're going on it. So mm, can't answer that one. Karen, question. Hi, Jamie. Hope you had a great holiday. I did. Thank you. Do you think Pino will drag the heels for the Caribbean fly cruises until it's time to play bikes before they announce the airline? Yes. <laughs> uh, if if they don't tell people the airline in advance, then I would have some concerns about which one they're using. And that's only based on our experience of what they did the last time. Uh, because they were very keen and quick, weren't they, to say, we're working with TUI more again, moving forward, very quick to do that. So as soon as they know the other airline, they should tell us, shouldn't they? They should. Uh, Wendy, will you and Math will be going on Aurora again? Um, yes, because we'd already booked um, a short three night cruise at the end of August. And um, that's one that I have been advertising to my our own PO cruise groups on Facebook. So that will be a yes. I have to be honest with you, given our most recent experience, if um, it weren't a group thing, I would have cancelled it and given it a bit of space. Uh, Darcy, question from mum. <laughs> In speciality dining on Fred Olsen, do you get subsidised prices for people under 16? I don't think so. I think it's £10 per person. Okay, could be wrong there, but I, I'm absolutely... Not that so I'm about 99% sure that if you were 15, 16, you would be paying the 10 pounds. It's very reasonable having said that. Uh, if anybody thinks that is incorrect, please do post your comments. Janet, <clears throat> question If you had a choice between Pinot Azura and Morella Explorer, which would you choose and why? Well, I wouldn't base it on the ship <clears throat> alone, I would base it on the itinerary as well. Okay, I like both ships, they are very very different ships the product is incredibly different i like both ships very much but uh that would be down to itinerary for me so sorry janet don't forget to keep those thumbs up coming please um debbie is referring oh debbie is um adding oh she's adding brolics difficult one both very good my husband asked for it hot in corolla uh, based on Jamie's recommendations, but wish he'd gone for a medium. <laughs> when I asked for hot and coral art, bleh, it was medium at best. Um, so very, very hot is what I would be asking for now. Liz, question. I've never been on a cruise, but wants to do a round trip, uh, Bergen to Kikinas. Have you ever done this cruise with Hurt? No, I've never been on Hurt Groove or Havila. I haven't, so I can't really comment on that apart from um, Hurt Gruten is more expensive. I think Havila, I don't know how to pronounce it, looks like a great um, option. The only thing is because they are such short journeys and cruises, when you factor in flights as well, I personally would want to be staying in one of those ports for a couple of nights as well. Otherwise, um, I don't feel like I would see enough or get enough from that. Uh, Daniel, still in the middle of wedding planning, but in the middle of buying our first house at the moment. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> okay, I've just skipped by loads of people. Uh, no, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Uh, Adventures with the Reeds. How did you get to your resort in Orlando? Oh, I, um, I took an Uber. Um, it was, I think, about $40, including tip in the end. But when I went back to the airport from the resort, um, it was only $28. So, you know, the prices for Uber fluctuate. Uh, you could take Lyft as well. But in my experience, Lyft and Uber are by far the cheapest options for traveling between the airport and resorts in Orlando. Some of the um, coach transfers really... Um, 
do charge quite a lot a uh, premium so i would be cautious um the the other thing is um at orlando international they now have uh, areas zones dedicated to ride share they call it so you know um collecting your, your uber your lift etc uh, they have like a whole um floor dedicated to that actually so it was really very straightforward um so i would recommend uber or lyft okay let's keep going we're doing all right thank you for the extra thumbs up that is a mucho apreciado um calvin any news on malif i'm gonna always update people on malif the minute i get an update so no <laughs> sorry um the last time um we met a few weeks ago i went into detail about um the interactions or lack of interactions with malif um and our dealings with the caa um so i, I won't reiterate all of that if you want to find out more then just watch the previous uh live which would have been about was that three weeks ago roughly have a look at that it was towards the end of march uh, but no the minute that i hear it will be featured on my live i promise you fiona have you considered referrals codes i don't know what that means fiona referrals codes for what sorry i'm being naive i know pop your question below with your explanation uh lee how long in advance did you book your orlando trip did you get a good deal with ba yes i got a very good deal i booked about uh three weeks two and a half three weeks in advance uh, and for a solo traveler, traveler, I thought it was very good, actually. Um, but also, BA fly to Terminal C at Orlando International, which is the newest terminal. And it's fabulous. It's so quiet compared to terminals A and B. Um, and it's all shiny and spanking new. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so well done, BA, for securing Terminal C. <laughs> Works very well. Uh, Jackie, do you book your own flights? Or no, I never use a travel agent, actually, Jackie. Um, everything I, I do myself. I mean, like the Orlando trip, I booked as a package through BA. Just If you just search British Airways holidays, they will include the flight and accommodation. Um, there's an option to add on things like tickets and uh, transfers and so on, but I, I don't need to do that with, with BA. I, I, I do that independently. So for me, the, the flight and the hotel option worked really well, but I don't use the TA. In fact, the last time we spoke a few weeks ago, I did say if there are any TAs out there who feel they can change my mind about working with a TA and getting good deals, I'm all ears because at the moment I've not had that experience so I'm all I'm I'm all yours. Convince me. <laughs> uh, another question up update on Malif, and I'm going to reassure you. As soon as I hear from Malif, you will be the first people to know on a live. I promise you. Okay, Amy, was it hard being so close to Disney but going to Universal? No, not at all. Because we were in Disney for 23 nights last summer. Uh, that was that was a really interesting vlog to make. That was a long vlog to make. So no, I felt that I've done. Uh, we we have Disney Vacation Club points as well, so we go regular uh, regularly. Sorry to Disney, so it didn't feel like that at all. In fact, I really enjoyed spending more time at Universal and going at a slower pace. I've found in the past uh, Disney gets my attention and my time, and Universal gets a little bit, gets squished, and I have to do it faster as a result. So it was really nice just toning that down a bit and going at a, a, a glacial pace of someone of my age. <laughs> it was fabulous. Okay. Oh, and the whole thing's just jumped. Petra, uh, Paul and Carol going on Queen Anne press trip, coming off for the night, then back for inaugural cruise. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that. The Devon deck chair... Uh, what was your worst seas to travel on, as in rough weather? Mm. Mm. Um, I think when we were on Oriana one summer, heading or well, skirting the Bay of Biscay, um, we had a lot of pitching going on. 
And that in its own right wasn't a problem, but it lasted for about a day and a half and it was proper pitching. So eventually it starts making you feel a bit, Ooh. Uh, I don't know what happens to you when, if you're in rough seas and you're, you're experiencing a lot of movement, what I noticed on Aurora is it makes me belch a lot. Um, and I don't know what that's about. No, no, no vomit or anything like that. Just like, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that all came from. So the other roughest sea was actually in the English Channel once. Um, wow. The corkscrew was like this on Arcadia. Um, so you were literally up and down, but rolling at the same time. Um, that was quite hard to manage. Okay. Um, Claire, jam or cream first? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have that myself. So here's what you do. You do one with jam and then cream and one half and then the other half the other way around. And you have the best of both worlds. In all seriousness, though, it makes more sense, if you think about it, to put jam on first and then the cream because the cream is... Um, easier to spread over the jam. If you try and put jam over cream, it's all going to get sort of pushed over the edges and messy, and that just won't do for my OCD at all. Uh, Cosmo is still using P&O, uh, laughter. Well, I mean, yeah, because we had cruises booked with them and paid for. So there you go. Um, <laughs> but we haven't booked any more. <laughs> low down travel late to the party as usual yes sorry this is not much of a pie i did have a little swig of that a bit earlier low down um jackie p do you think the bay of biscay will be as choppy as it was for you in september oh you can't predict sea the sea conditions i mean our worst seas were in august on oriana as i just said so you can never tell sorry can't tell you that um certainly Autumn, winter is supposed to be a rougher and rockier. Um, I don't know. We've, we've done the Bay of Biscay in the winter, and it's been like a mill pond. It's been beautiful. Uh, sorry, don't know. Crystal ball, crystal ball. Emma P, do you order in restaurant in Spanish? Yes, always. When we're in Spain, I always speak in Spanish. And in France, I always speak in French. Yeah, always. Uh, and Matthew's not bad at ordering food, actually. And, and his little cañas, dos cañas, por favor, he asks for two little beers. He's very good at that. Dos cañas, por favor, he says. <laughs> what is the weirdest thing I've seen on a cruise? Uh, that's a really hard question. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything weird um, because I'm kind of like all about weird, whatever that is, you know. I'm like... If things are different or unusual, I kind of like respect to that. Not weird, but on Oriana, everyone used to sing Oriana's praises. And we didn't have quite the experience. You know, people say, oh, it's a small ship. It's classic. It's elegant. It's calm. It's quiet. And when we went on a 12-nighter, it was there were some raucous moments. And there was a, an adult, a group of adults who used to commandeer the hot tubs, um, but they were like, they would take up all the space. They would be screaming and shouting and then splashing the water over everybody, absolutely wrecked all day, every day. So it wasn't weird, but they drew attention to themselves and eventually were spoken to by the group, by some of the senior managers and um, didn't see them again, actually. So who knows? So I, I will continue to ponder the weird, though, and think if... I can't think of anything at the moment, though, I'm afraid to say. Sorry. I must be on very boring cruises. Um, Sarah, do you know what stateroom you have, and will you be able to do speciality dining on Queen Anne? I don't know what stateroom I've got yet, um, and I don't know which restaurants we're going to be in yet either. Uh, haven't told me that information. I know when it is. I know the timings, etc., but I don't know exactly what, so I... As I always say, as soon as I know, I'll let you know. Amory, with your special birthday coming up, special birthday. You mean my special birthday next year, not this year, 
This year's not, I mean, every every birthday's a special birthday. Next year is my special birthday. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Are uh, you considering Saga? Um, not at those prices, I'm not. No, <laughs> they're really expensive. Um, I'd love to do Saga. I really would. But um, maybe it's just I haven't found the right one yet. I haven't looked carefully enough. But every time I've looked, it looks like it's about 3000 per person and that's more than i've uh, ever spent on a cruise so it's like oh that doesn't sit well with me at that price but i'll keep looking i'd love to do salad they look fantastic uh, and apparently the food is very good as well okay sarah asked how am i feeling about my new york cruise or the transatlantic uh, are you nervous for so many days at sea no not nervous about that at all uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've, we've got two cruises before that one, so my attention is kind of on those at the moment. But uh, I don't have any nerves about th that many days at sea, and it means I'll be able to vlog very differently, actually, to usual. Um, and without the pressures of having to do things at a certain time and all the, the filming, excuse me, all the filming in ports, etc., it'll be karma so i'm gonna to have to think about how to do all that filming i'm looking forward to it very much and then obviously spending the time in new york and i've got some i've got patrons who are also on that cruise which is great um so i get to have a, a drink or two of them and some food be nice uh darcy do you reckon that in late may the baby scale will be choppy <laughs> okay um I don't know. It could be, and it might be absolutely beautiful. I'm really sorry. I can't predict sea conditions. It can be everything. I said just now, didn't I? Um, you can have fantastic seas in the winter on the Bay of Biscay, and you could have rough seas in August, uh, July, August. So you're just going to have to wait and see. And even the rough seas we had were still absolutely fine. I think Aurora handled it beautifully and um, always felt very safe actually i suppose the main thing is have you got your seasickness pills or the little bands i can't remember what they're called now uh take those along maybe um anthony c is one where you have to go to ab to get higher car um i don't know because i not hire a car there i've just never needed to anthony um i don't know maybe Maybe, but C is the one that opened uh, last year, so it's the newest one. They, it may be that they don't have higher uh, car hire there at the moment. So I'm sorry I can't answer that question. Fiona, oh, Fiona, thank you for clarifying. Referral codes, some cruise lines offer codes so that you get an amount to spend. So does the person using the code. Um, offer a code so that you get an amount of spend. I still don't understand. I'm so sorry. Um... You mean like a, a cruise deal or something? I, I, I'm not familiar with these, if I'm honest with you. So I think you're going to be the expert here, not me. I'm really sorry. I don't quite understand uh, what these cruise referral codes are um, to get an amount of spend. If someone else knows and can help, that would be amazing. And I fully appreciate you forever. Uh, please do keep those thumbs up uh, coming. That would be awesome. Um, you don't get journey, no, you don't get fast passes or the express pass with Cabana Hotel. Um, but I didn't need them because um, I went during the week and also uh, spring break had ended in uh, Florida. It was very quiet. I mean, I got to walk on Hagrid's. Uh, if you know Hagrid's coaster, you'll know how crazy busy it is. Uh, I walked on most rides or had like a 10 minute wait. So I didn't need them. In fact, I saw people buying express passes and I was thinking, what are you doing? You're spending hundreds of dollars when these lines are like 10, 15 minutes. So you don't get them with Cabana Bay, but also it's a lot cheaper than staying uh, somewhere like um, Royal Pacific, which I think is a lovely hotel, uh, but I just didn't need them at all on this trip, and I would have wasted hundreds of dollars if I'd stayed in a more expensive hotel or I'd bought the express passes. It's all about when you go. That's really important. Um, Claire, we are on Venture uh, in 26 nights. Booked it for the itinerary. Love Avia this past January. Can you recommend a speciality restaurant on Ventura, 
Um, I quite like the Epicurean um, on 17 or whatever it is, at 17 uh, on Ventura. I think it's quite a nice, it's a charming venue. It's um, kind of like quite elegant, bit old hat as well. And the menu uh, on Ventura and Azura are a little bit different from the, the newer ships as well. So I, I like that one. Um, I mean, I always go to Sindhu, every, pretty much every cruise. I love Sindhu, but maybe give the Epicurean a, a flash on that one, on Ventura. Um, when am I on Britannia next? I can't read your name. Somebody McCourt. Uh, I'm not at the moment, actually, because um, as I mentioned earlier, although someone was being snarky, I haven't actually booked any more Pino cruises. Um, we're kind of seeing out the Pino cruises we have booked. Um, we're just still waiting to see how things are resolved. Um, if I were booking another Pinot Cruise, it would probably be on Britannia, though, because it's been a number of years since we did our two-week med cruise on Britannia, which was awesome. Um, so probably time to revisit Britannia. Uh, but no, no plans to book any more Pinot for time, for the time. Um, and then Hushoka Tukuruga McCourt has got 35 nights cruising on Iona in January. Uh, can I just ask, is that one tr transatlantic, is it Caribbean, Caribbean and then back? Which is that? I'd like to know. <clears throat> Rachel, do you keep in contact with friends of any of the travel bloggers? Um, some of them, yeah, but I have to be honest with you, I tend to not have much to do with um, cruise bloggers for a number of reasons <laughs> uh, some yes and the ones that i'm in contact with we actually very rarely talk about cruise blogging or blogging or anything like that we are just like naturally friends which is a nice thing in my opinion um <clears throat> dizzy lizzie no 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 cream first that doesn't make sense though does it it doesn't make sense because the jam is harder, firmer than the cream, and therefore it, the cream goes like that. It doesn't make sense. You can say people from Devon, people from Cornwall, etc. I mean, I'm from Devon. It's all about common sense in my view. <laughs> um, do you think you'll ever do a vlogger's cruise where you all go like, oh gosh, um, I don't think I would actually. No, I, I think I'd find that... Mm. I mean, when I was on Iona last February, there were lots of vloggers on board that, and we did meet up. But I have to be honest with you, what's better, in my view, is when I meet lots of people who watch my vlogs um, and come up for a chat or we have a drink. Um, sometimes we've gone ashore together. That's a great thing to do, and I think that's much more important um, than me spending time with other vloggers personally <clears throat> chris good evening mr travel with jamie oh that's a new one that's definitely not who i am it's chris and claire from bournemouth can i have your thoughts about msc virtuosa yes um so you might be aware that i have sailed on virtuosa twice once in your club and once with everybody else and i'll be on virtuosa again next month on a short cruise um with everybody else, not in your club. And uh, my first point to you would be, have you watched all the vlogs so you can see whether or not you like the look of it? And then you might have some very specific questions. I had a great time on Vitroza on both occasions, regardless of whether I was in your club or not. Uh, it definitely feels busy in places. And uh, I know some of the entertainment I love, some of it not so much. Uh, main dining room food was fine, but then I loved the Mexican speciality restaurant, which was fabulous by you as well. I absolutely loved it there. So, and I love I love all the facilities. Like I love the water park, for example. I think that's great. Uh, I can spend I do spend hours in there, flying and hurtling around all those slides and getting drenched. Love it and the rope course. So I think it's got there's something for everyone there personally and i wouldn't have booked on it three times if i didn't like it um but if you are someone who likes 
likes things quiet and calm, maybe not for you unless you went to yacht club. <laughs> Anne Marie says, "Whoops, sorry, Jamie. You, I, I can't remember what you're whooping and sorrying for, but you, it's not a problem. It's absolutely not." Um, DSA, following on the food theme, is there any particular cruise line that you think is particularly good food and service? Yes, I've mentioned before. Um, Fred Olsen, in my opinion, has excellent food in the main dining room and the buffet is superb with different cookery stations um, and their speciality restaurants are awesome of the best. I did really enjoy some of the Virgin Voyages restaurants. They weren't all to my taste, but that's the beauty of Virgin Voyages. There's so much variety there. So I thought the food on Virgin Voyages was also uh, very good. I've actually really enjoyed the food in the main dining room in particular on Disney Cruise Line as well. I've had great meals there. Um, their buffet on the newer ships as well is pretty special, whereas on the older ships, I didn't enjoy the buffet uh, quite so much. There you go. That's just my thoughts on the matter. And uh, the scrolling thing has gone crazy. No, I'm back. Cruising with Seth. Question. And then he doesn't write one. Oh, it's two down. Um, do you agree that MSC stands for must stay clear? No, like totally disagree. And actually, MSC is a massive, massive cruise line, isn't it? Think about how many ships they've got, how many people are sailing on MSC uh, in on any given day. And if it were that bad and if it were doing really badly, they wouldn't be ordering all these new ships, would they? So it's clearly something is working for MSC. Uh, so whether you like them or not makes no difference because they're doing great work and business. They really are. Uh, <laughs> so no, I don't think that is a, a fair summary. Uh, but as they say, each to their own, each to their own. Moina, please don't ask me, Moina, if I've got a favourite cruise ship. Is that what you're going to ask me? Question, do you have a favourite cruise ship? <laughs> no. There you go. Tina, oh, Jamie doesn't do favourites. Oh, oh, my goodness. Sarah, is the referral for spend code something to do with getting more onboard credit? Yes, yeah, see, Sarah, that's the kind of thing I was wondering as well. So hopefully um, that's been explained a little bit later. Um. Going to the Med in Bob, going to the Meds in Barbados. Okay, uh, are you going to the Mediterranean or are you going to Barbados, or is that the choice between them? Please explain, please, please, please. Sarah, do you think Sindhu would do a separate dish for someone who doesn't eat curry when the other five in the party do? But the thing is, in Sindhu, though, it's not all curry. In fact, I think curry features sort of middle of the road in Sindhu. That's what I was saying earlier. I think Korala. It's more of a, a curry house. Sindhu, less so. Um, so I don't think you'd have a problem there, actually. Um, Devon Dekcher, slap the cream, jam, jam, cream. Doesn't matter how you enjoy it. Yes, I agree. It doesn't matter at all. That's why I said do one half and the other half. Um, whatever takes your fancy, as long as it gets in that gob and you enjoy it, who's anyone else? to judge. Oh, don't we get those thumbs up, please? Oh my gosh, we're already at an hour. My goodness. Normally we're at 300 likes by the end of an hour. <gasps> gosh, we're all out of practice, aren't we? Or I'm just doing a bad job. It's the jet lag. It's the jet lag. Um, We've got people explaining whether they put jam or cream first. <laughs> Nicholas says, learned recently, my son calls you holiday gym, which <laughs> uh, this is a a couple I met um, on Avia, I think it was, uh, he calls me Travel Blog Jim. And it gives him hours of pleasure and laughing at that. And I don't mind being called Jim. I think that's quite cute. Um, Jackie, are you going to Royal Caribbean anytime soon, she asked. Uh, no, I'm not. And that's because their prices as uh, for a solar passenger are not yet competitive. I have been on Royal uh, three times and I have vlogs on them and I do enjoy the, the brand of product, but at the moment I kind of feel like I want them to calm with the pricing if that's even likely to happen, who knows? Uh, but I do enjoy them. Yes, Craig, I've been on Pinot Britannia. I did a two week med cruise. How does it compare to Avia? It's smaller. Um, I don't know if you know the Princess uh, Royal Class ships um, 
royal, regal, enchanted, sky, etc. Um, Britannia is in the same vein as those ships. So smaller, there's um, an adults only area towards the front, which I like. There's a, a cookery school on board. It still has the um, limelight as well for those intimate show lounge dinners. Um, it doesn't have the rope courses and um, swim, swim up bars and that kind of thing, though. Um, so it, it kind of depends what you're looking for in a cruise. And obviously, it doesn't have as many uh, restaurants either. <clears throat> Uh, any more questions? Let's have a look. Have you been to Bognor Regis Butlins? No, nope. uh, never say never. Uh, I don't have any need to go to Bognor Regis, I think. I used to work nearby and um, it didn't draw my attention very much. <laughs> um, Shimali, hi Jamie, we drove past you and Matthew and Southampton when we were en route to board Iono. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. When we were down there, actually, I was crossing the road and someone uh, wound down their window and said, it's travel blood, Jamie. And um, they were like beckoning me, come over here, come over here. And it's literally the middle of the road. So Matthew was like, you're going to get yourself killed. You're gonna... And so I'm like, oh, I'm just going to quickly say hello. So I'm in the middle of the road going, hey, hey, hey. And, and this couple were trying to have a chat. I'm like, I'm really sorry. I need to go because I'm going to get run over. Um but yes, always wind down your window and say hi. And if it's a, if I'm in the middle of the road, crossing the road, please don't um, expect me to stop necessarily, even though I did on that occasion. Um, Kevin is talking to Steve about tarting up Britannia. Thank you for that. Um, Vintage Visions. Did you see Maurice Grumbleweed on Aurora on your last cruise? I thought he was a great entertainer. Um, I don't know, actually. I did see uh, a singer in uh, Carmen's, or pianist and singer, uh, doing some of the old numbers, but I don't know if that was him. So I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh, we've got more clotted cream versus jam versus cream versus jam questions and dialogue going on. Um, if I could cruise anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Ask Chris. Um, I would... I would like to cruise to Hawaii from, um, actually it doesn't matter where, Los Angeles, San Francisco, I've been to that part of the world. I'd like to cruise to and around Hawaii um, just because I think it would be very different culturally um, and the scenery as well. Uh, and that just appeals to me. And I think since uh, I've been to Bali and I've really enjoyed that, contrast that sort of thing does appeal um and yeah spending more time cruising asia would be great actually i've never i've never cruised asia i say that i've done land-based trips to asia so far uh, melissa oh hang on tony uh cream jam yada yada melissa have you ever been on carnival no but if you can convince me to go on carnival i'll buy you a drink on board okay um, smash those thumbs up, says Jackie. Absolutely. Thank you. Sandra, come on. Oh, thumbs up. Thank you, Sandra. Um, Rachel, are you doing another UK meetup soon? Uh, you mean for patrons? Um, I will organize something at some point. The last patron meet was literally two days before Matthew and I went on Aurora and then I went to Orlando. So it's, um, it's up here somewhere. <laughs> it was a good night. It was good fun. I loved meeting everybody. And um, I proved once again that I am undrunkable. So there. Wendy. Oh, we're getting near the end of questions. That I mean, I've answered most of them. That's awesome. So I'm going to answer questions down to Anthony and then we're going to wrap up. Um, can you please squeeze in a cruise on Iona beginning of August? <laughs> Uh, well, I know the answer to that is no, because I'm going to be on uh, Regal Princess doing a British Isles cruise. So, But you're going to be fine. You don't need any help. Daniel Taylor, any idea on what the Aurora refresh is actually going to be? No, um, I haven't seen any um, renderings of that at all. So I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. Uh, I thought Aurora looked very nice uh, internally, actually. Not the cabins necessarily, but all the... Uh, public areas I thought were great. So uh, I'll be interested to see what they do. Anthony, 
Uh, cruising pricing is difficult. Is there a guide for new cruisers? Only been on TUI. Do you fancy have a cruise line? Um, I think I, I've said before, but you know, going on something like Igloo and comparing all the prices between each one is um, wise. Otherwise, you can actually go through a TA or some people just ask me, they just message and ask me what I think is a good deal and, and between different cruise lines and ships. So uh, it, I do understand it is complicated because every cruise line is different and um, some include tips, some don't include tips. Um, some uh, allow you to bid for upgrades, some don't, some do that for free. Some are all inclusive, like Virgin, like Morella, for example, which really suits people who are brand new to cruising whilst they find their feet. So um, I don't know of any particular sort of like one place you would go to see all of those differences in one place, if I'm honest with you. Maybe someone can help with that. Um, I'm going to wrap up now, folks. So this is going to end with Anthony. And I'm sorry if anyone has asked a question um, after South Seas, yes, on my bucket list as well, Tony. I'll have a, I'll have a go at that. Thank you very much. So um, this Wednesday, I have part three of my Aurora vlog coming out, the finale, uh, and then we move straight into um, Orlando territory, starting off on Saturday with my time in the tiny cabin at the Yotel Air Hotel, London Gatwick, which I loved. Spoiler alert, I loved it. Um, I just felt like reliving the youth I never had or I should have had. Um, then to uh, my flight review of BA landing into Orlando International Terminal C. Then straight into the uh, Universal vlogs themselves. So I'm looking forward to sharing something a little bit different with you. And I hope you are too. Um, we have... Uh, two cruises coming up at the start of May, and then the end of May, we're going to be in Salou, Salah, and going to Porta Ventura and vlogging that whole experience. So in May itself, already lots to uh, follow and lots of content coming your way. Okay. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your patience um, in my jet lag evening. Um, I hope I get to sleep tonight because I only had a couple hours kip on the flight. And I will see you all around. If you've got any questions, please do uh, bear them in mind for the, the next time. Uh, you can always contact me as well. Okay. So have a fabulous week ahead, everybody. Thank you for your support and take care of yourselves one another very last shout out goes to lovely cheryl who messaged me earlier and i just wanted to say i was thinking of you and take care good night everybody be good if you can't be good oh just don't be good bye